sometimes the will of God will come to us in a very supernatural way, and sometimes we'll end up in the will of God in a very natural way. Let me make a statement that may surprise you, but here it is. The will of God is not always easy to discern. Do you agree with that? The will of God is not always easy to discern. Now we've all seen these preachers on television that talk about their conversations with God, you know. And I have to question that sometimes because I'll be honest with you, most of my life as a Christian is a life of faith. And by that I mean I don't get up every morning and God audibly speaks to me. I mean, maybe you thought that every morning I get up and, and the Lord will, you know, with the theme of Mission Impossible playing in the background, you know. Ding, 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 ding. Good morning, Mr. Lorry. This is your mission should you decide to accept it. Uh, you're going to lead a person to Christ named Joe at 145 across the street at the gas station in front of Harvest Christian Fellowship. This message will self-destruct in five seconds. Shh, you know. No, it isn't like that at all. Here's what usually happens. It is, as I'm driving and I'm out of gas and my idiot light comes on. Oh, maybe I should get some gas now. I pull over. I put the pump in. I'm standing there. There's a guy over there. Hey, how's it going? It's going all right. How's it going with you? It's going fine. Now all of a sudden I realize it's a divine appointment. It's not like an angel said, go to the gas station. Here's the thing. God leads you supernaturally and naturally. Sometimes you're just out and about doing what you do, but you apply the biblical principles. You've taken the Word of God. You've internalized it. You've memorized it. You've prayed for guidance in that day. Now just get out there and start living this life. It's a life of faith that we live each and every day. And if we're looking for some emotional high or expect to be in some relationship with God where He's speaking to us constantly, we're going to be sorely disappointed. The Bible says the just shall live by faith. The thing is, you hold your course. 